back to the road. Today we are stopping off at Asheville, North Carolina to have a look at some of its amazing attractions. Asheville has a long history and was once part of the Cherokee Nation before European settlers made the area home. In 1797, the city was officially incorporated and named after Samuel Ash, who was governor of North Carolina at that time. The city is bursting with art galleries, sculpture, and mirrors seemingly on every street. If you like to eat good food while traveling, the city is well known for its culinary thing and may have more restaurants than art galleries. Be sure to have your camera at the ready for all the great photo ops downtown Asheville has to offer, such as this architectural beauty, the S&W Cafeteria Building. It still houses a market and the cafeteria true to the spirit of the regional institution. Downtown is also home to Harris Cherokee Center, which hosts everything from concerts to expos. Just up the street from the Cherokee Center is the Basilica of St. Lawrence. Join a tour and have a look at some interesting architecture. Now let's head out of town to visit Chimney Rock State Park to have a look at some of the natural beauty the area is so famous for. First stop is the village just outside the park. If you need to grab a bite to eat before going into the park, this is a great place to find something. There are several restaurants and shops providing everything from snacks to outdoor supplies. Now let's get to the park itself. The park does not offer camping but has plenty to offer in the way of hiking, climbing, fishing and biking. Tourists have been flocking to the area for over 100 years to enjoy the incredible views offered on the several hiking trails within the park. There is our ultimate destination, Chimney Rock. Already from the parking lot, we began to get a glimpse at those amazing views the park is famous for. If you are not interested in climbing the 499 steps to the top, there is an elevator. But we decided to make the climb on foot. If you decide to go this route, be aware that this is quite strenuous. That being said, it offers great views and photo opportunities throughout the climb. Though you may have to stop a moment before taking the picture to catch your breath. Last, we have reached the top, but find the mountain already climbed by the previous explorers. We are now 315 feet from where we started, and the views are absolutely stunning. Again, have your camera at the ready. If you find yourself in need of some refreshment after the climb, stop in at the Sky Lunch. They offer food, cold drinks, and souvenirs. Once you have your chosen refreshment, you can enjoy it while taking in the view from this stack area. Behind the chimney rock are more stairs and trails offering still greater views and the photo opportunities. We are now going to this waterfall. Yeah, let's head down the trail for a look at Hickory Nut Falls. At 404 feet, the waterfall is one of the tallest east of the Mississippi River. Compared to the climb we just made, this trail is a breeze, though it may not feel like it if you take the Vista Trail first. And here is the waterfall. If you are brave, you can actually climb down and touch the waterfall, though I would not suggest it in springtime. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're headed to another famous Asheville attraction, the Baltimore House. First up at this attraction is the Baltimore Village. This beautiful village, complete with shops, restaurants, and a cathedral, was built to house the workers on the estate. Today, its purpose is more to serve the needs of guests and visitors staying at the hotel. As with the other parts of our visit, be sure to have your camera at the ready for the many opportunities for great photos and memories. If you like wine tasting or very high quality food, then you may want to budget some extra time to spend here. You also cannot miss the small museum about the family that built this place. On display are many of the Vanderbilt's everyday items. The Vanderbilt's love to travel, and while on a visit to Paris, a very fateful last-minute decision was made to change their return trip from the luxury liner Titanic to the Olympic. This decision very likely saved their lives. Check out this Louis Vuitton steamer trunk, nothing but the best for this family. This chess set once belonged to Napoleon Bonaparte. It was given to George Vanderbilt as a gift. As mentioned, the Vanderbilts loved to travel and managed to collect some very interesting souvenirs over the course of their many journeys. Let's go have a look at the Baltimore house itself. The house is just a short walk from the parking lot. Look at that front yard. The house was designed by Richard Morris Hunt, a prominent New York architect in the style of a French chateau. Construction took approximately six years, with only the best materials being used. The gardens around the house feature statues made of Italian marble and great views of the surrounding landscape. If you saw the house was beautiful on the outside, just take a look at some of the things waiting for you on the inside.
Our next stop is the Asheville Art Museum. I'm always surprised at what I find in those museums. Even in smaller cities, there are amazing works of art to enjoy. This painting is called Dominion by the artist Bo Bartlett. Throughout the museum, you will find everything from paintings of historical events to the more abstract variety. With our art tour, we are heading to the Rebel Art Book. Here you will find many art studios, as well as some outdoor works to be enjoyed on a nice walk. Let's catch the chair. Probably don't try to catch the chairs. I can safely do this because I'm not so tall. But if you are tall enough, I don't think the creators would be very happy if those chairs got pulled down. Our final stop on our visit to Asheville is the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is a fantastically beautiful drive and offers numerous overlooks with incredible views. There are so many overlooks in fact that it can be hard choosing how many stops to make for photos. This sunset is the perfect moment to end our visit. I hope you enjoyed Asheville as much as we did. Be sure to join us on our next episode as we visit Gantlenburg, Tennessee for more adventures on the road. Thank you for watching. See you next time.